In this video in Flow, we're going to go over something fun that I discovered last week, which was conditional labels on a toggle in Flow. I came across this use case with a client to submit something to pricing department, but that's no fun to do if we're going to do a fun video on YouTube. So I wanted to do something a little bit more fun in my Trailhead Sandbox. So I'm going to show you the front side and how it works, and then we'll dive into the back side to see how it was achieved. I'm on a contact right now, and I did a simple meal object, so choosing a meal. I'm going to click the button, and choosing the meal type, I've put in dinner or dessert so that the user knows, hey, I can choose dessert, because that's a lot more fun to eat than dinner. And this toggle in our flow, is a regular toggle. It just has two choices. The inactive choice is dinner and the active choice is dessert. But based on what's chosen here determines the conditional label for the next toggle. So I'm going to click next and now because I chose dessert on the first toggle my inactive choice is cake and my active choice is pie. So I will choose cake. Hey. And now a meal record was created. I'm going to eat cake. So now let's do one more so I can show you the other toggle choices. My meal type will stay dinner. Do I want steak or do I want chicken? I'm going to choose chicken and click next. And now I've got chicken. So let's go into the flow so that we can uncover how we did the conditional label. In the first part of the flow, because it's a screen flow, I'm getting the record of the contact I'm on because I do want to set that at the end, but we're not going to go into that part today. I'm going to show you the initial screen, even though this toggle, of course, just has my active label as dessert and my inactive label as dinner. And this, as you can see, is static text. I'm going to close that out. And now let's go into our next screen where my food choice is actually a formula. So my active label formula, which we will dive into, and then we will dive into the inactive toggle label formula. And that way we have two choices for each one based on what the user chose in the previous screen. On the manager on the left-hand side, I'm going to click into the active toggle label formula. And this is showing the conditional. If my meal type toggle, that initial toggle on the first screen is false, I want to say chicken because the inactive value, the false value on the first screen was dinner. So if that is dinner, then I want to show chicken. But if my meal type was true, which is what's left over, then I'm going to show pie. The same thing was done for the inactive side. Steak, if this was dinner, or cake, if the first one was dessert. And that's really it on the toggles and the conditional labeling. Now, I, I do have a, a meal name formula so that I can set the name of the formula. And then my meal type formula, that's another formula that I've used with the meal choice. So I'm going to briefly dive back into the front side and go into this record. My meal choice is cake, meal type is dessert. So let's go into these other formulas that I have set. My meal choice, I had to do a formula because of all my conditional choices on the toggle. If, once again, we're doing the meal type was false, that means it's dinner, and my second toggle that was conditional is false, then I want that text field on my record to say state. Once again, I repeat myself, but this time it's false and true. Chicken, true, that was the dessert, but false cake. And again, true on the first one, true on the second one, high. And if none of these, I had to have a catch-all, and that is my null. The other one was the meal type formula, which is a pick list value on the record itself. But here I can still use my meal type toggle value. Of course, that's a Boolean. 
So is true. And I could have done it false like everything else, right? I started with false on all my other formulas, but I happen to put, okay, if it's true, then set my pick list as dessert. And if it's false, dinner. So I could have flipped it if I'd put false here, then dinner versus dessert. And yes, my pick list value does have more than those two choices, but the joy, the reason for this particular video is to show you the conditional labels for the toggle. Thank you.